Many people think that once a tunnel boring machine passes beneath the seabed, the tunnel is finished. In reality, the excavation process is far more complex than it seems. The biggest dangers in building an undersea tunnel are collapse and seawater flooding. Because the soil beneath the seabed is usually soft, the ground can crack as the TBM moves forward. Under high water pressure, seawater can then seep into the tunnel through these cracks, creating serious risks. To solve this problem, engineers improved the design of the TBM. A sealed pressure chamber is installed behind the cutter head, where the excavated soil is mixed with water to form a thick slurry. By carefully controlling pressure, the TBM pushes this slurry into gaps in the surrounding ground, blocking water paths and stabilizing the soil to create a safe environment for tunneling. To keep the tunnel structure strong, the TBM stops after after moving forward a short distance and automatically installs a ring of concrete segments along the tunnel wall. Usually, seven segments form one complete ring, and grout is injected into the gaps between them to seal the tunnel and prevent leaks. After the entire tunnel is completed, the TBM is not pulled back to the surface. Instead, it is buried at the end of the tunnel. Although this may seem wasteful, it is actually more cost-effective. The TBM is is extremely large and can only move forward. Taking it apart and removing it would be very expensive. For this reason, engineers recover only the key internal components, while the remaining outer shell and cutter head are filled with concrete and left permanently underground.